The rain, it raineth every day upon the just and unjust fella, but more upon the just because the unjust hath the just's umbrella. It's so horrible out there. It reminds me of home. I'm here to tell you about why you should um, hug a tourist. Why Greek plays matter. How theoretical particle physics is like fan fiction for the universe. Most of us are much wealthier than we think. We can save between 50 and 100 people's lives uh, through the course of our donations. Why do people want to visit Oxford? Computers look great to us, but a lot of them are still really stupid. They can't do simple tasks, like tell the difference between a lion and a giraffe. My nephew can do that, he's only five years old. The trouble with working in particle physics today is that all the easy particles have already been taken. Gone are the days when any old bloke with a particle collider could discover a fundamental constituent of matter. That's not what I'm here to talk about. If you earn the average salary in, in the UK, 25,000 pounds a year, you're in the top 3.5% of the global wealthy. As historians or as English literature scholars, Whatever the discipline, we can tell a story. It's actually very hard to prove that something exists. What is the human condition, and what does it mean to talk about this universal human suffering in the real world? We have a lot of ideas, and inevitably, most of them are wrong. Greek drama's clever, someone said, a bit like a wire. If your particle does indeed exist, how will we know? What will we see? Since Call of Duty launched online in 2007, it has been played for three million years total. Three million years of human effort have gone in uh, to Call of Duty, the computer game. Wikipedia, to date, has only taken 10,000 years to create. What if Gandalf had an invisible super heavy twin? Then why don't we notice him bumping into us the whole time? Maybe we can use the fact that we don't notice this to put limits on how heavy he actually is. What else can we do with this cognitive surplus? The answer is citizen science. Greek, or translated Greek in any case, doesn't bother the modern audience member any more than the music does in Cats. What has a really big impact on happiness is feeling that we're making a really big contribution in the world, and what has a very minor impact on happiness is a slight loss in wealth. So when you look at these two things together, chances are you're going to be much happier if you give money to places that you think are having an amazing impact. What we do with citizen science is build websites where anyone in the world can come on and analyze the data for the scientists. I don't need or want these big academic terms like universality or the human condition to explain why Greek plays matter. It belongs to you, every single one of you, and just by virtue of being a human being, you have as much ability to engage with it as anyone else. At this point, the role of physics fan fiction is to compare the predictions of your new particle with what we actually observe in the real world. And in this way, we can exclude some possibilities. Already, the Zooniverse um, projects have done things like discover new types of galaxies that astronomers never knew about, discover new planets around distant stars. We've discovered a new animal that lives on the ocean floor with only those 100 years. Think about where we could go from there. Now I've come to the point where I shall vanish. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.